Spider-Man, the situation is under control. Ground teams, this is civil control. What's our status at the yards? Outpost X-ray under attack. It's the demons. Hey Pete, this lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. The effects these diseases have, they're just... they are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water. And fast before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. These barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish, which is good. There's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water current, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man. Water polluter.
Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. All clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. I have something to do on stakeouts. Mugger thinks he's the next Wilson Fisk. Well, they are going to jail, so... Thanks. You wouldn't understand, but it's hard to have money trouble. Getting away. There's a pigeon. Oh, come back, little birdie! Sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Darren says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Now, some people falsely say I make up stories about Spider-Man. 
and this will not help my case because it sounds outlandish, but I have personally seen listener-recorded video of Spider-Man snatching pigeons. Pigeon napping. Why? What possible purpose could there be for such aberrant behavior? I've thought about it long and hard, and I think I've figured it out. He's eating them. We've always assumed Spider-Man is a man with the attributes of a spider. But what if it's the reverse? What if somehow a spider gained the powers of a man and he's stalking his prey? Somewhere there's a giant web with these poor pigeons stuck in it, waiting to be devoured. And will it stop at pigeons? Will we be next? I promise you this. I will not rest until I have the answers. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. would make these ads more interesting. I always knew someday they'd weaponize tackiness. individually. threats passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. Okay, Pete, this lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine.
Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. One more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. I did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. So, numerous witnesses saw Spider-Man swinging through Times Square like the glory hound he is, firing webs at electronic billboards and causing them to reboot. Granted, those billboards are an eyesore. In my day, sign painting was an art. But the more pressing question is, what was he up to? I have a theory. He is infecting these billboards with a virus so that they will subliminally hypnotize pedestrians. Hypnotize them into what? Into liking Spider-Man! And he's been doing it for years! This is the only plausible explanation for how many fans this menace seems to have! This station analyzes thunderstorms and acts as a failsafe for the others. Now, they're all susceptible to lightning strikes, which would erase their data banks. If they're in danger, they'll automatically transfer their data to Oscorp's servers. Just make sure it works, okay, pal? There's a storm threatening now, and the automatic transfer isn't working. No time to write code now. 
I'll have to manually link the research station data hubs. Then I need to go to the top of the Oscorp building and align their receivers. First data hub's right over my head. Okay, my lenses should show the other hubs in red. Got it. Now to make more links in the chain. Man, it's getting bad out here. Got it. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk for lightning strikes. If my charge is increasing, I gotta move faster or I'll get zapped. Slow down, I'll be extra crispy. I need to get to Oscorp Tower. these away from their satellites and toward each other. Spider spins a data web. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Harry's work is safe, and I can finally get out of this weather.
Hey, Pete. In the mood for some good news? Sure. I've already got plenty of the other kind. I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. You're kidding. That's great. I just wish we could tell Harry. Pete hasn't returned my calls, which is weird. I know how important this is to him. His mom would be so proud. He really stepped up for her. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. So are you, MJ. And wherever Harry is, he knows that. Can't wait to read the article. Folks, I have received unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks, where children play, apparently, stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane. A perfectly valid question. But have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider?